math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says if 5 to the x minus 2 power equals 125, what is x? So again, on the actual ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator. For that reason, I'd recommend you get in the habit of copying things down and solving them on your own scratch paper, since you'll have to do that on test day anyways. In order to solve this equation for x, you first have to realize that we can rewrite 125. More specifically, we can rewrite 125 to be 5 to the third power. Again, a large part of being successful on the ASVAB and PyCat comes down to your ability to do some mental math. And in this case, I would recommend that you know your squares and cubes from 1 to 10. All right, so now that these both have a base of 5, we can solve this one like this. We could write it to be x minus 2 equals 3. To solve for x, all we have to do is add 2 to both sides. This crosses out. This says x equals 3 plus 2, which is 5. So the answer to this one is 5. Now, it's always a good idea, especially if you're unsure to check your work. We know x equals 5. And if we plug in 5 for x in the original equation, it should make a true statement. Our original equation was 5 to the x minus 2 equals 125. Again, we know x equals 5. Uh, so let's plug it in. This becomes 5 to the 5 minus 2 equals 125. This says 5 to the third power equals 125. As I showed you below, 5 to the third power is 125. Does 125 equal 125? Since this is a true statement, I'm confident that C is correct. Additionally, instead of solving this one algebraically, you could have taken your answer choices and plug them all in until you found the one that made a true mathematical statement and solved it using uh, the guess and check method. So regardless of how you solve this one, uh, you'll get the same answer.